Please click on the thumbs up button and the subscribe button if you enjoyed my vlog. Bye for now. Hi everybody, this is John from All John's Vlogs and I hope wherever you are in the world you are safe and well. Um, if you like my vlogs please click on the, uh, the like button and the subscribe button. The subscribe button is a free service. And the like button just lets me know how many people's liking it really. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do today is show you a contrast between uh, the, the lawn before it was cut in the back garden and afterwards. And we was asked to leave uh, the lawn alone uh, to let it grow uh, so that the worms and uh, other things could get established. But... I left it until about the 17th or 18th, it's the 20th of May at the moment, and I couldn't leave it any longer. If I'd have left it any longer, the blades wouldn't have taken it on my uh, particular lawnmower. Uh, but you can see here that it, we've got lots of uh, daisies growing in the, in the uh, uh, lawn. And I do, I'm not that sure about this, but I believe that could be because we've given them a chance to grow uh, by uh, pulling the dandelion flowers off uh, before they go to seed. And I think that the dandelions would be in profusion rather than the daisies. And one of the problems we've got is that we live, uh, our garden is adjacent to a public park and uh, the park doesn't get uh, uh, its uh, dandelion seeds taken away so they all come into our garden anyway that's what i'm trying to do i i do try and manage it myself uh, and i keep up to it and uh, i enjoy it actually uh, and the trick is little and often in a garden don't try to do too much when you first start the season again because uh, when you get older, such as myself, you have to build that stamina up a little bit again after not doing anything all winter. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you around the borders of the garden when I've shown you what the garden, back garden, looks like now it's been uh, uh, had the lawnmower. Well, here we are then. You can see that it's all been cut. What a difference it makes. And... Uh, it's like a bowling green now. Well, I thought I'd uh, walk you around the garden uh, borders. I don't know what half of these plants are called. My son Woody sees this plants person. I'm just the gardener, and I look after uh, keep the weeds down, cut the grass, till the soil, and that sort of thing. But you can see there's lots of different colours. Uh, on the borders uh, and here is a ornamental plant and the berries go red but the, uh, the birds don't eat them uh, but they do last until October and uh, here's a beautiful colour and it, it's a really nice uh, yellowy green it stands out on its own and again this one actually the camera doesn't give it do it justice it's a, a lovely color the white ones don't always come up right well on on our uh, camcorder or the or our camera but look at this uh, this has got its own little obelisk and they're coming out in uh, large numbers now and for the life of me, I've just forgot what to call them. I'm sure as soon as I forget, stop videoing, it will come to me. I could have done with my son by my side. He knows them all. But anyway, look at this. Uh, I think this is... Uh, let me look. Yes, I think it was Erica, that one. Don't know what this little blue thing is. 
Uh, these are Welsh poppies. Uh, we've got yellows and oranges. And there's quite a lot of them this year. Now this is a bit out of focus. Now I do apologise, but I had to keep away from the uh, nest box. The, the blue tits in there. Ferns have done really well so far. And the blue flower on this, I think it's some kind of a herb. And uh, it will look it will look really nice when it's uh, ah yes look I'm 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 on full zoom, but I I have managed to get as you can see the blue tits going into the box and I think again let's just have a look see if it comes out yes there it goes so there's uh, there's young chicks in there the Ollie is uh, just starting to grow again after uh, not doing and a variegated ollie as well these were put in i think two years ago or one year ago uh, when i did the fence now this is the camellia it's it's just finished flowering uh, and you can see it's just growing at the top once it's, uh, the flowers stop uh, it starts to grow again a few more welsh poppies uh, this side this time at the different Inside of the garden, and look at this tulips in uh, 20th of May. That's very late, but they look like miniatures. And this is just a, to, uh, some kind of a, a, a plant that we don't want to uh, go all over the garden, it's, so we've kept it in a container. Miniature daffodils, they're doing really well for this time of year. They've usually gone by now, and you can see here. A few more and the grass now it's been cut really short uh, now this is a fold-up bench which we take out uh, of the garden in the winter and behind it is the false uh, foliage it's uh, all plastic 